the United States. The vice president and his wife could kiss their audience's attention goodbye once Marlon Bundo was introduced. He is the first bunny to ever ride on Air Force Two. <laughs> At this White House event to honor military families, kids got up close and personal with the Pence's pet. Marlon Bundo may not be as famous as Bugs. Gosh, ain't I a stinker? He may not have his own storybooks like Peter Rabbit. True, true. But he's already got his own acronym. You know, there's POTUS, short for President of the United States, and there's FLOTUS, short for First Lady of the United States. Well, now there's Botus. So he is the bunny of the United States. <laughs> Botus has his own Instagram account, regularly updated with photos and videos. A spokesperson says he thinks he's a cat and likes to hang out with Oreo and Pickle. Some have the nerve to criticize Marlon's grooming. OMG, his nails need to be trimmed. And it's true that he could have used a mani-pedi in his first Instagram photo. Sure, he's been overshadowed. <laughs> by imposters, but Botus would never speak like this. Oh, push me, I'm sweating my Easter eggs off in this thing. <laughs> and then there's that name, Marlon Bundo, sometimes mocked. They could have gone with, I don't know, Rabbit Redfoot? The Pence's daughter, Charlotte, then a film student, got the bunny to be in a movie, so Charlotte's roommate named him Marlon Bundo. I'm gonna make him an awfully camera for you. But at least this doesn't apply to Marlon Bundo. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody. He is somebody, Botus. He and his namesake have at least one thing in common. Both Brando and Bundo like to be petted. Say goodbye to Marlon. He's going to go back. Goodbye, Marlon. Goodbye, Marlon. Genie Mo, CNN. New York.